guys, this is part two of my Schleich update, and uh, if you didn't see the first video, you should go check it out. And the first video uh, was made in 2013 when I was 10, and finally it's 2014, and I'm 11 years old from October, and um, so yeah, I've gotten a lot of new Schleichs. I'm sorry if I review one that I showed you in the other video, it's just, it's been so long, and so I can't really remember, uh, so, I did get Fallabella's, um, here, let me just, um, uh, I did, I think I said in the last video that I had a Shetland Pony, and, uh, Tinker Fool, I think that's what those are. I totally forgot. Um, I bought a replacement because the old ones I had, they were my first like, and I got them when I was little, and I colored all over them. I still have them, it's just I don't use them as much. I don't put them on display, but here's what they look like. Better paint job because, uh, they're a newer version from the store I get them from. And I got another rider, but she's not Schleich. She came with this one horse. I forgot what brand it is, but I got it from Pat Catans and Sandusky. So, uh, so I got two people now. Still didn't get another riding set, and I didn't get any Schleich for Christmas. So, kind of a downer, but, uh, let me see, new ones that I got, I have a lot of new horses and dogs and everything, so let me just get them, I'll bring out the Fallabellas, the Frisians, um, the ones I got most recently were the female Frisian, Frisian, and let me just grab these, the Arabian Fold, Tennessee Walker Stone. Wow, I've gotten a lot of new ones since the last video. I think I did the last video in November. No, it wasn't November. It was. Uh, I totally forgot. Uh, but yeah, you guys should check that out if you didn't see it. The reason it has Western writing on it is because my friend was using her earlier. I got this one for my birthday from my friend. And she also got me a baby polar bear, which I'll show later in the video. So this is the female Frasian I've gotten. And I think I showed this in the last video, but I'm not sure. This is the Lustiano Fool. I, no, and Illusion Fool. I'm just confused with those two for some reason. Um, oops. Okay, stay there. There. Um, then I've got, I forgot what these are called. Well, I know what it's called, it's just, I don't think I could pronounce it right, but, uh, this is him. I got him, too. I named him Cole. Then we got the Tennessee Walker Stallion, right here. He looks really good with the Western Writing set. Then I've got the male Frisian. This one is one of my favorites because I love Frisians. And my friend took off the reins from the bridle, so we just hook that back on. Um, this I think goes really good with him. This riding set right here that looks really good with him. But I hate how I can't really fit him in the stalls because these are briar. This is a briar. So, I was going to get another barn, but I decided, no, I just want more Schleich. <laughs> but, you know, the next time I go, I want to get an actual Schleich barn. Or at least just another random type of barn, because I only have three stalls, and I have all these horses. And this is the Frasian Full. I'm, I guess that's a filly. I don't know. Um, let me just reach over and get the Fallabellas. <laughs> I did make a Schleich update with the Fallabellas in it, 
but it didn't get many views because I think I tagged it with the wrong stuff. So, there we go. I got the whole Fall Bella family. Then I've got... I do not know what type of horse this is, but I love him to death. He is one of my favorites. I think he's just a Mustang, I guess. Well, please type in the comments uh, what breed he is. Because I know a lot of people who actually, like, they're, like, experts on the breeds. So, and it really helps me a lot because I get confused. And let me just reach over and get the Arabian Fool, which he is new. This is one I got recently, the Arabian Fool. Uh, yeah. So, that's it with the horses that are new. And... I just move my chair so it's easier. Um, what's new? Oh yeah, this is the old one I have that's all colored on. I want to keep them because uh, these are really old. I don't want to just give them away. Um, I think I didn't show you guys the cat. The cat's new. Uh, the cat I used to have, he wasn't, like, and I barely used him anyway. So, I finally got an actual Schleich cat. I know a lot of you in the other video, you kept saying, like, a lot of you were saying, oh, those aren't Schleich. And a lot of you were saying, if it doesn't say Schleich, it's not Schleich. I know that already. But, um, I got a bunny. It's a little shake. I saw a lot of bunnies at the store, but this one I thought was the cutest, just the way it lays. Because that's how my dog lays on the ground. She spreads her feet like that. And I love the gray tone of its coat. And I also got the Labrador family. Oh, there's the Labrador puppy. I think the Labrador puppy is really cute because it's... I just don't get why they made the Labradors so tiny because... In real life, Labradors can get as big as probably a Golden Retriever. Not all of them are tiny like that, so I thought they should have made them the size of a Golden Retriever. And I don't think I told you guys in the first video, I'm not sure, but I couldn't find Neon. Um, but I eventually found him in my littlest pet shop, like, uh, toy box. Oh, that reminds me, uh... After this video, I might post a, a little pet shop collection. So anyways, I thought I lost him forever, and I was, like, so worried, because this is also one of my favorite Schleichs, because he was also one of the first ones I got. And, um, so I bought another one, and as you can see, well, probably not, my laptop is really blurry, but, uh, the, this was, uh, made uh i think in 2011 or 12 this one was made in 2013 so they have totally different paint jobs this one has more of a blacker uh lining around his eyes and his nose and he has a uh, whiter feet and a whiter tip on the tail this one is just uh the exact opposite really and this one, when I bought it, it was, like, freshly painted because I went to touch the nose and I accidentally chipped it. And it was still wet. I could feel it, so. That was pretty cool. And Neon is the one with scratches. Lucky has no scratches because he's newer. Uh, back then, I really didn't know how to take care of, like, so. Uh, I also got a Husky. I would have gotten the whole Husky family, but I did not see it there. I did not get this one at Roll King or TSC. I got this one at Myers, I think. Yeah, Myers. The first one I grabbed, because at Myers, they these little kids go there, and they just go there and scratch them all up. And I accidentally grabbed one with a huge scratch on his side. I was like, what the heck, I'm not buying this. For some reason, I just feel bad just leaving it there, because it's not like anybody's going to buy it. Because it has scratches all over it. Because the kids just go there and start playing with it and throw it everywhere. That's what's just sad. That's why I like to...
to go to Rural King and stuff because not many kids actually go there. Um, what else is new? I think I didn't show you my German Shepherd puppy. I got him too. Really cute. And I also got oh the polar bear. Polar bear I got for my birthday. Cute. Um. Oh yeah, I got the rest of the wolf family. Back then, like a long time ago, they made a wolf that looked exactly like this. But now they're making wolves that look nothing like it. Because as you can see, this one is more like whiter. It looks like a, maybe an arctic wolf or something. And this one looks like maybe a wolf that lives in a forest. And they just don't go together. But they, I, I'm sure they still make them. But they don't make them at the stores I shop at. Uh, they made them uh, like this. They made males like this kind of coat color. Like kind of a dark color. And then uh, a few tan lines and stuff. And I used to have one, but my friend, she really loved wolves. And I gave it to her for her birthday for some reason. And... She said she already had one, but never gotten it back, so I kind of want it back. Um, a new one I got was a little goat, because I just think he's so adorable. And by the way, the goat that you guys named, I am I think I'm going to name it Luna. It's the name of my dog, and it kind of makes sense, because Luna in Spanish means moon, And if you didn't know that. And the goat is white. Uh, let me show her. So, they look really cute together. Um, mm, the Dalmatian, I got him. Because I was just tired of the Dalmatian that isn't, like, horribly painted. I don't know why they gave it red eyes. And I, I just hate it. So, I decided to buy a new one that's actually like, And he is one of my favorites now. I really like him. And I really want to buy a baby Dalmatian because, again, I had this one, one of my first ones, colored it with highlighter a little bit, so. And it is kind of bad painted, like. So, let me see, do I got any new ones? Oh, yeah, I was making my mom a snow globe for Christmas. And I wanted to put a unicorn in it. What well, we did. This would be a good Christmas present if you guys are listening. And so what I did was I got a mason jar. And I glued a unicorn inside of it. Then we let it dry. And then we put water in it. And we put a bunch of glitter in it. And it makes a beautiful snow globe. And we also tied a ribbon around the jar. And it just looks really pretty. So, uh... I bought another unicorn so that I would still have a unicorn and surprisingly I still didn't take it out of the box because I love the box just look at it and I got that one from Myers and it is in pretty good shape so that's good and I didn't I wanted a newer one anyway because both all my unicorns are just scratched up and because I've had Schlake for a long time so See, you might not be able to see, but scratches all over the marks, and I've tried to clean it off with about everything, and it just won't come off. It's permanent. But I've been looking in stores, and they they just won't sell them anymore, so i got to keep them like that. And one day when I get older, I might just sell them, I like, and nobody will probably want to buy a unicorn in that condition, but... Oh, and... Guys, I might have showed you my white alligator in the other video. I finally found my brown alligator. And these are not Schlake, but they really do look like Schlake. So I just put them on the same shelf. And they're still really cool. And I got both of them in Florida, so it's like a cool souvenir to get from there. So, yeah, guys, that's my update. Those are all the new Schlake I've gotten since the last video. 
And, uh, let me see. Is there any animals they don't have names for? I don't have a name for him. Him. Or... Oh, that's about it. I don't have names for these two. So if you could write in the comments, this is a male Falabella and male or female baby polar bear. So you can uh, put down girl names and boy names. Uh, polar would be a good name, but I want to see what you guys think because you guys can come up with some really creative things. And that's uh, this video. Bye.